Ja, und hallo zurück zu einer neuen Folge Genshin Impact. Das ist die zweite Folge, die ich bei meinem Bruder aufgenommen habe, wo ich leider nicht das Mikro einschalten kann, sprich jetzt nachvertun, nachdem ich zu Hause bin. Ähm, ist auch der zweite Teil der, ja, Event-Quest Ferne Sterne. Äh, ja, war wie gesagt eine lustige Quest. Ich habe sie, wie gesagt, auch schon fertig zu diesem Zeitpunkt. Die Folge wird wahrscheinlich die Woche irgendwann noch kommen, wenn ich sie abschließe, wo ich sehr viel Spaß haben werde. <lacht> ja. Äh, boah. Ich werde jetzt nicht komplett alles vertonen. Ich denke mal, das ist nicht nötig. Boah, da wünsche ich euch viel Spaß bei der Folge und wir sehen uns das nächste Mal. Ciao. Draft, how are things in the village now? Ah, it's you again. A little better. That's great. Seems like getting rid of the meteorites is your traveler. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Clearly, my noble ambition to protect the souls of this wretched world compelled you to seek me, Envoy. You mean... Ah, yes. Let me fill you in here. Someone brought a message from the Dawn Winery saying that a lady there by the name of Adeline invites you to meet with her as honored guests of the winery. Oh. Adeline, she's the head housemaid there. Ah, it seems that you and Adeline are already acquainted then. Then it is my great honor to join you. Hey, so can you really understand that princess when she's talking? Because Paimon can't seem to understand a single word. All right. My dear friends, it is time to move out. Paimon hopes Adeline has made some tasty snacks to welcome her honored guests with.
Just what will be... Don't disappoint me. Welcome to the Dawn Winery, dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid, and it is I who invited you all here. Thanks for the invite! You are Adeline? <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the honor of joining me for afternoon tea. Dearest Adeline, on behalf of Her Majesty, Miss Fischl, the Princess de Verotalong, and I, mine for... <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so wordy My goodness. An adventurer of such distinct- My pale-faced proselyte. How dare you interrupt a diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech? In fact, one of our employees here at the Dawn Winery, a Mr. Hartman, I hear that you were the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Hartman is now a- We are in your debt. It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. The Aw, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any other adventurers would have done. You may now kneel before your princessin and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery ken. <sighs> Take heart, my dear servants. For the glory of my majesty will flash eternal. Oz, hold off on the translation. Paimon wants to have a try this time. Um, is... I applaud your powers of comprehension, my dear Paimon. You decipher mine Fräulein's royal utterances with... The business of the winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua, too. Some of our workers do regular deliveries back and forth between the two regions. A single round trip taking several days in total. Two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday, but as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became trapped somewhere when the meteorites struck. The winery is short-staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. As audacious as it may be. Okie dokie, don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. Oh, wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. All del there were two carts in total, and the workers' names are Fritz and Ben.
for two Mondstadt cards? Uh, both loaded up with wine. Hmm. Sorry. Okay, then. We'll keep asking around. Mondstadt merchants traveling through here? You know, the ones with the... Ah, oh, I am afraid I have very poor eyesight. Oh. Uh... Hello. Uh, we're looking... From Mondstadt, you say? You know, I think I'd... Really? Which way did it... Let me think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken... Thanks, mister! Now to chase down that car... You scared me half to death. Thanks so much. If you hadn't happened to be passing through this way, I would have been a goner for sure. <sighs> so, which one are you? Uh -huh. uh, I'm Ben. How did you know my name? Per Adeline's wishes, we came here specifically to find you and ensure your well-being. Ah, uh, I suppose she must have started worrying because of the long delay. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dihua Marsh and Stone Gate. <sighs> anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. I just hadn't factored in the part about... <sighs> I really hope Fritz is okay. With me getting delayed here, the... Between Stone Gate and Dihua... Lead the way, my pale-faced proselyte. 
For a sharp pain now afflicts mine ogd of earth. Is the guy on the floor sleeping? I believe so. I've tried everything. Looks like he touched the meteorite. If by meteorite, you mean the rock that struck the cart. Worry not. I have dealt with that already using my magic. But by others. Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a sim- One has witnessed with one's own Ogd of Ertelung the nightmarish slumber that proceeds forth from the- As main Fräulein most eloquently describes, we have just come from Mondstadt, where many people have also fallen into an unwaking sleep. Is that so? It appears these meteor- Seems this guy is dressed like a winery worker. And- Given that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features- Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal. Paimon just has a really great memory. You're right, though, hit- <laughs> And by this guy over here? Yep. Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite like you before. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you... T Are you investigating the aftermath of the meteorite strike? Yeah, we were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Princessin Dutha Ertelung. Responding to the cry of my... I am Main Fräulein's humble... F and Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Pavonius's best friend. Hmm. Oh? Then you must be said honorary knight of said Knights of Pavonius. Behold my people, your beloved sovereign in the flesh. Do not... Um, excuse me? Don't mind her, just, you know, let her do... Excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, great! Good thing you're here, Mr. Millilith. This guy- Ah, it appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. In which case, it was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now. So, adventures. I wish you- Bye-bye! So, what happened was, we came here looking for someone, and found them- Thank you all for your cooperation. This victim is now in the care of the Millilith, and we will escort him safely to- Disaster Relief Station? Correct. We have established a Disaster Relief Station at Wangshu Inn, where the unconscious- A wise dis- Paimon can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. <sighs> I suppose I shall da- This cruel curse of cold spreads without mercy. Hey, keep your foot. Might I suggest we make some inquiry? Halt! Who are you? We've been commissioned by the Adventurers Guild to investigate the meteorite. I see. Very well, adventurers. That's the only day wonders what he's dreaming about. <laughs> Fritz does not appear to... <gasps> it's another sleeping victim! His soul is in anguish, ensnared by a peace at last. 
Um... Main Fräulein simply wishes him a speedy recovery. Beyond this, there is no... Come on, Fritz. Another sleeper. Most unfortunate. Crucified to a cruel cross of calamity. There is but one means of awakening those who slumber. And that... Precisely, main Fräulein. If we do... This is so weird. That Milolis guy promised he was gonna bring Fritz here, didn't he? Mm. Let's go see what the... Excuse us, have you seen anyone come? Yeah, the Millilith arrived with several new victims not long ago. Due to the- Okay, well, could you give him a message when he wakes up? Tell him he needs to get back to the Dawn Winery as soon as possible. <sighs> and if I may be so bold, adventurers, I Please, tell us. Pray tell of thy troubles. That one might be I understand from the mill of the soldiers that you were investigating the meteorite. This made me wonder. Perhaps my friend From what we've seen so far, all you need to do is get rid of Is that so? Then if I understand you correctly Yep. In that case, I would like to enlist your services in that regard. Do you think you can dispose of the meteorites in the vicinity of the inn? Oh, wonderful. This grain secure is crucial. Give up. What is that? This meteorite is way bigger than the others. Submit. I'm on worries that 
The bigger the meteorite, the more powerful it is. Let's see if there's any more bits left. Fatui? What are they doing here? Submit! Take this! Boba, get the food! It's not. This doesn't end here. A harbinger is nearby. You'll get what's coming to you soon enough. So the Fatui are investigating the media? This is too strange. We need to be extra cautious. The seeds of nefarious nightmares appear to have taken firm root. Though my magic arrow of midnight purges them in an instant. Indeed, main Fräulein. Despite our best efforts to dispose of the meteorites, they continue. The strikes are happening faster than we can get rid of them. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedort, have traversed. This menace is neither monster nor magic. It is a curse. <gasps> Such a foul curse could only arise as a consequence of the continuous. How very tragic. Is this the inevitable. I'm I get the part about the thing being lost inside the other thing, but were they not a curse upon humanity? Why then should they send humans into slumber? <sighs> to be lost twixt life and death in an unending dream. Tis we must underestimate the magnitude of this matter no more. I fear this sinister force can traveler. Fetch me the one fated to fit and who? Main Fräulein is of the opinion that one with the requisite expertise sh Um... Ugh. Paimon can't think of anybody I... Let the show begin! Catherine, the hour of destiny is upon you. I have invoked the sacred coven. Hmm, let me see. Whoa, she got it in one. Catherine must be super smart. Unfortunately not. As it happens, the traveling astrologist Mona is... Never mind. Please wait here a moment. I will see if she... We get to meet a real-life astrologist? Catherine, you seem frantic. What's the matter? Mona, I'd like to introduce you to some adventurers from the guild. They've run into some problems and we're hoping that you, with your astrological abilities, may be able... Were they now? <laughs> Good call. I'm pleasantly surprised that they've heard of the astro... So, you must be the one who needed my help. Come on then, give me the lowdown. I may be willing to offer my skills. Astrology is an ancient and mysterious art. If your problem is a banal one, you can count me out, as I have better- So... And all of this was caused by the meteor shower. The darkness consumes every corner of the land. And in the- Ms. Mona, your means are most- Huh? 
Are you all together? I am Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedot, Prinzessin der Verurtelung, and I hereby extend to you the great honor of joining Princessin der Verurtelung. I'm sorry. I hail from a distant and long lost land known as the Immanachreich. The in my what, Reich? <sighs> Alas, precious few mere mortals. Oh, mere mortal? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Just give me one second with my scry glass. Then we'll see where exactly this homeland of yours features in your personal history. Ms. Mona. I humbly beseech you to refrain from probing the question of Main Fräulein's homeland. Revisiting the tragic... Surely a wise mage such as yourself... No, but... Uh, <laughs> yes, you're quite right. So, the goal here is to get all the sleepers to wake up. Am I right? Understood. All right, then, don't you? First things first, though. We need to get out of the city. There's too much magical disturbance here. Wide open space, clear sky. This will do nicely. I will now begin the process of hydromancy. Stay back and do not. Whatever it was you just did, it looked awesome! Oh, Astral Emissary, have thine eyes now discerned? Yeah, what did you find out? How strange. The divination shows that these meteorites came from... Constellation? But they don't have anything to do... That's what most people tend to think. But I've studied astrology for a very long time, and I know a few... The stars that make up a constellation, the Stella Fortuna, are genuine celestial bodies in the depths of space. They are not simply notional. The strange thing is that they turned to meteors all of a sudden and fell from the sky. Why this happened, I am not yet sure. I'm a curse! A wretched curse, I A curse? I, too, have journeyed to the stars, gazed beyond the veil of darkness, and glimpsed a shred of the truth. Only one who died the most agonizing of deaths could leave. We must interrogate the population. Find the doer of this diabolical deed. The one... Sorry, I'm not quite following you. What curse and... Uh, don't take every word she says. What's going on here? Why are the Traveler and Paimon frantically winking at me? Oh, oh, I understand. Thou dost? <laughs> Marvelous! The Mutual understanding is the crucial first step towards effective teamwork. You are hereby appointed as an honored servant of the Princessin. Unleash thy power in service of our solemn duty to dis- Honored? <laughs> you should feel honored to have found me. Without me, you'd be doing ten times the work for half the results. <laughs> Paimon likes you, Muna. You <laughs> well, I'm glad you agree. Feel free to keep- With my astrolabe, I have ascertained the trajectory of fate. Next, I'll calculate the locations of the f I need to look into the constellation issue in more detail. In the meantime, let me know ASAP if you find any- Don't worry about it. As far as the astrological aspect-
We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. Give up.
Blood repays blood. Take this! Boba, get them! Your life is mine. Don't waste my time. Yeah. 